Hello again, folks, to a Smarter Steak wireless update and a Patreon announcement. It's Photography of Ozzy, and I am going to first of all give you a Photography of Ozzy Patreon update that it is going on. Go to the link in the description if you please to give your support. There is a con contribution for access to more detailed assembly videos of these technology assemblies, and these videos are more or less a step by step instruction, uh, including the hardware, the programming, and uh, the tech spec detail. So much of the detail can be ver verified by a peer-reviewed resource or by Google, but I will not steer you folks wrong. So if I'm worth the dollar, please consider. So now for the second part, this is the Smarter Steak Wireless with an LCD attached giving you the temperature. As you can see, we've got about a 73.4 Fahrenheit, that's about a 22 Celsius. And it's going to be like this so that we don't have to like lug a huge computer around to attach it to the Arduino, in which this does involve the Arduino, the Motino, a DHT22 thermostat, and a, a toggle troubleshoot button which I have attached, as well as the LCD. So it's, in other words, it's going to be a very handy little uh, light tool to have to monitor a place that has got a temperature uh, sensitivity like this room in the winter. So you'll be getting a notification if it goes to like uh, 35 Fahrenheit or lower. And uh, that being said, the thermostat is located down here and up by the window is the transmitter. And now of course many of you know why you don't want the thermostat in the window and you want the transmitter up by the window. So I won't go into detail about that, but that's the type of thing that I will be giving you in the detailed instructional videos should you become a Patreon of Photography of Ozzy. So then, let me just tell you that that green button up there is that toggle troubleshoot button in which you can certainly check and make sure that the transmitter and receiver are communicating. And so I, what I'm going to do is go ahead and press that now, and we will then get a notification from the house assembly. So just click on that, and we should certainly get something that goes then into the house. Although currently I am a little curious about this because I'm not seeing a light. So anyway, but yeah, like I said, this down here and you've got a quick reference as to like the humidity and the temperature and therefore that this wire here is what connects the, the thermostat up to this here to tell it that the temperature has gone below the um, accepted value. So that's right, that is Photography of Ozzy going above and beyond. Thank you for your considered support and I will certainly not steer you wrong as I said. I will be as informative and precise as possible. Thank you for watching. Bye. And a quick update with this. It's just simply that there it goes. It's telling us that we're getting a response. It just took a while for the acknowledgement to come from the house. So yeah, it is going out there and we are getting a message. It's just taking a little bit of time because, you know, we're a bit far off and, well, that's what distance will do. And basically we do want to, you know, consider the wavelength of the transmitter or the transceiver we're using because, well, the longer the wavelength, you know, the, the more it uh, can penetrate, you know, a lot of the material that I'm worried about, which is, you know, counterintuitive. You'd think a shorter wavelength would be more penetrable, but no, not the case. Anyway then, thank you again, bye.